Now coming to the diagnosis, there are two apart from the blood investigation which we do like complete blood picture, renal profile, liver profile and stool examination, fecal calprotectin which is a marker of uh, um, which is a marker released by the leukocyte and we can do this test in the stool which is very specific and very sensitive for diagnosing inflammatory bowel disease and can also rule out irritable bowel syndrome. So, a fecal cal protecting more than 250 in a new case is almost uh, significant uh, and associated with the inflammatory bowel disease. It is not only inflammatory bowel disease, in fecal cal protecting can also be elevated in other disorders like malignancy and tuberculosis, but the level of uh, fecal cal protecting rise is more in inflammatory bowel disease as compared to non inflammatory bowel disease. Whereas in irritable bowel syndrome, it is usually less than 250, usually it is in the range of 50 to 100. So, very important marker fecal cal protecting. The other test which we do is in the blood test is C-reactive protein. We also do ESR to see elevated, if it is elevated again, suggest a chronic disease. Apart from this, what else we can do is P Anka and ASCA because these are the blood tests which gives you either it is ulcerative colitis or a Crohn's disease. Patient can have a coexisting other disorders like HLA B27 association with inflammatory bowels is well known. We can also do a diagnostic test which is like colonoscopy, most important gold standard test for diagnosing inflammatory bowel disease, especially in ulcerative colitis. In Crohn's disease, we may have to do more tests like endoscopy for involvement of food pipe, stomach or a duodenum because as I mentioned earlier, Crohn's disease can involve multiple places. It can involve large bowel, can involve small bowel in 30-30% of the cases, it can have a mixed picture. It can involve stomach, some part, some part of the stomach and then can present with the nodule and pain in abdomen. <clears throat> Apart from this, the other test which can be done is that we can take a biopsies. So, what we do essentially in colonoscopy is we use a flexible tube, we pass it through the anal canal under sedation and we examine entire large intestine which involves rectum, sigmoid, descending colon, transverse colon, ascending colon and cecum and we enter into the small intestine called terminal ileum and we when we examine all these areas for the features of inflammatory bowel disease which can show ulceration which shows friability means on just touching also the patient may have a bleeding there then in that case if you find frank ulcerations which are continuous the possibility of ulcerative is high but if the ulcerations are patchy then the possibility of Crohn's is high. Whatever the whatever the clinical and uh, colonoscopy picture may be, we take multiple biopsies to diagnose whether there is ulcerative colitis or Crohn's disease based on which we then decide further line of treatment because the treatment of ulcerative and Crohn's disease is completely different.